Oh my gosh, I didn't even open the thing yet. So I got a call about an hour ago from the same group of guys that I went up to uh, Lake of the Woods with, if you guys remember that trip. So they said, we're on a lake right now, but we have a spot in our ice house for night if you're interested in staying. And so I kind of threw everything on the back burner. Now we are going to fill up because we are heading three hours north, Lax Lake. I don't know how, but I managed to put 24.1 gallons into a 24 gallon tank. I didn't realize we were that low. Oh, hold on, should I should I do the math here? 24.1, okay, we're just gonna say it was bad. I gotta head home, gotta grab a few things yet before we can leave. Oh my gosh, this room is a mess. Um, This is just an absolute mess of fishing materials that I have been working on fixing up this winter and I think we might grab you. That could be good. Tripod. Suppose I need to pack clothes, don't I? Okay. I think I got everything. It's already 2.45 in the afternoon, so um, I gotta get on the road. Not bringing a GPS, I just kinda looked on Google Maps on my computer really quick. Giddy up. Alright everybody, so we are currently at a marathon. A uh, few things, I've made it 120 some miles I guess, I have 50 more miles to go. My truck is trying to tell me that I've only used a quarter of a tank. Either or, we should be getting somewhat better mileage. So I'm gonna quit rambling because it is sundown here and I still have to find the guys out on Mille Lacs. So this is gonna be quite a process, but stay tuned, stick with it. boys so we made it to the landing here here we go first time on Mille Lacs Lake oh that's a good size crack there jeez so I got some instructions on um, where the guys are at so we're gonna head over there I guess uh, a little bit here of uh, ice road trucking across this great unknown looking at this map, right? So I came to a bend and I was like, oh sweet, I've made it all the way here. No, that, that first plowed road I saw was way up here. So we're still somewhere on this stretch here. Kind of amazing at how like physically big this lake is. Alrighty folks, you'll notice the path narrows. So we were playing a game of flashing lights. I'd flash my brights and they'd flash some of their lights so I could find them out here because there are hundreds if not thousands of houses on the ice out here. I mean, there is a lot of people out here. So there's two houses. There's one that's all lit up. I'm not sure which one. I'd have to kick it in four wheel drive. Got it. Good night, old girl. Well, folks, we have officially made it. So we're back here with Doug again this year, except uh, this year we're a few hundred miles. <laughs> yeah, we're a few hundred miles more south than last year, but. So this is the shack this year. This is a, what is this? This is a, a, it's a Glacier 817. Kind of designed by this guy here. Kind of give you guys a little tour here. It's got two power folding beds. At, uh, I don't actually know much about this house. It's got extra cabinetry here that goes around. These two here would be standard, this is added. And then there's a fireplace down here, which I don't have on at the moment, but I will after a while. Big back window, the dinette is a dream dinette, so there's no legs, so you can just push the table down to make a bed. The jackknife sofa here, with charging ports for your devices. The kitchen, and a place to relieve yourself. But there's also a refrigerator up in the nose, so it doesn't take up any space in the box. That's awesome. about it. Pretty awesome setup. I, uh, I need to get a hold on. Alrighty, folks. So we are now just set up. We had supper. That was good. We taught hot dish courtesy of Vicky. Vicky. Now we're just set up fishing. We had uh, one Big Mark come in. I uh, spazzed out for a minute or two there. I was using like a big rattle bait type deal and uh, I switched up to a spoon with a uh, rainbow. A rainbow. Yeah, they're kind of cool looking. Uh, we don't get them down south. Supposedly they've been launching on perch. There's been a couple schools of perch that have gone through this area, I guess. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens.
All right, everyone. So, so uh, we made it to the lake. So, oh my gosh, 11:43. We made it to Malax today. Uh, we didn't actually catch anything. Uh, we gave her a good run for I don't know, a couple hours there, and uh, saw stuff come in. Nothing wanted to commit. Tomorrow uh, is a new day, and so hopefully we'll get on a morning bite. It's kind of the hope. I did not expect to end up here today, so hopefully we get something tomorrow. Catch you guys then. morning everybody supposedly it's negative 31 out but there's no wind so it actually feels really nice outside I think we have till like 1 2 o'clock to fish today we had one rattle reel go off this morning that when I grabbed it the fish dropped it and then we had another one where the fish had it and I pulled up on it and it actually uh, cut the leader so uh, we get in action um, whoa that was a good crack that just hit under my foot. Try to make something happen. We'll try to figure out a pattern. I brought a bunch of rattle baits and whatnot, so I was using that last night. Bill whipped them out again, so. There we go. Alrighty, folks, so I'm just getting ready to drop down here. So I just got this Berkeley. I believe this is a war pig tied on. This is in a gold color. I had a couple fish come in last night and look at this pretty hard. Well, it's kind of boring. What else do we got? This one should be a little louder, I think. Really? Oh. Well, that's technically the first fish that I've seen yet. First fish out of Malax that I've seen. Wow. Hold it up, buddy. <laughs> Just a baby. His teeth aren't quite big enough yet. I can actually get a hold of him. Can lift him off? Kind of. So we have been fishing for a little while now. We had a few fish coming on the locators. Nothing actually decided to commit, but we just set up this underwater camera here. So I'm gonna have you guys looking at that and then um, Rip and Wrap has way better action than I actually thought it did. So we're gonna use that for a little bit and uh, we got two set lines over here. Those both have minnows on it. Hopefully between this setup we could draw fish in and then they get the minnows or they just bite whatever. So, but yeah. What? Oh, there's something big back there. There's something big. There's a walleye coming in. Yep. There's a walleye coming yep. in. Yep, yep, yep. Come back! Is this? What is that? There's another one. There's another one. Oh yeah, it's a school. Those are walleyes. That's off the number one. He's still there. Yep. Oh, he's. Do it. Do it. Yeah, do it. No. What's wrong with you, dude? We're watching the TV over there and this guy came out of nowhere and just plowed through it so all right so that is my first fish of the trip not exactly what I was looking for but you know I will take it it's fun the way it happened. yeah <laughs> he might be a little goofy from 30 feet oh there he goes man that was sick I'll pro I'm probably gonna turn the camera on now because that was that was cool to watch yeah. Alrighty folks, so it is now 12.02, wait a minute, 2.12. <laughs> we uh, gave her a good run on here, but looks like we're packing up here. I don't think I'm done quite fishing yet today. I think as long as I'm up this far in this neck of the woods, I might go press my luck at some other lakes that I don't usually get to fish this far up. So I might go try that, but um, for the time being, we gotta pack everything up and uh, get on the road here, so. Alrighty folks, saying goodbye, and we're heading off. Lake Mille Lacs, first time fishing it, pretty fun. Huge shout out to Doug and the guys for inviting me to come up here, had a blast. I think now we're gonna try to make it to a gas station or somewhere so I can maybe get some data and some surface so I can load an avionics and then maybe we can hit up another lake today. Predictions on if this is gonna work? Oh yeah, onwards. Like they got a new crack here. Yep, that is a brand new crack. Whoa, boy. That was fresh. That thing hadn't even froze over yet. We need four wheel drive for this thing. 
Oh, no problem. No problem. All right, boys, we gotta make a stop because you're gonna either see low energy Dave on the ice or you're not gonna see Dave again driving home because I am tired. So, oh, that's better. Ooh. Oh, that is good. Caffeine is exactly what I needed. Um, we're gonna try to suck some of this down and then uh, get back on the highway because um, yeah, it's already 412 So we are burning daylight and we got to get going here So couldn't really get the lake maps to download. So uh, we're just gonna keep going. All right more driving Oh boy well, That's different Oh my goodness Oh, look at that, low fuel light. So I guess we're gonna start and end today's episode at the gas station. I ended up not going fishing again tonight because, well, it started snowing. I've had quite a day and I am sick of how some people cannot figure out how to drive on the road. So, huge shout out to Doug, Mitchell, and Dylan for inviting me to come up there and hang out. Even though we didn't catch fish, a bucket lake fishery that I've wanted to fish and you guys have commented in the past that you wanted to see me fish also. Maybe we'll get back up there for open water sometime. And for the time being, we didn't catch fish, but I still had a ton of fun. Mission of the day was to head up to Malax Lake, cross off a bucket lake fishery, and uh, I think we definitely did that. So I would say today's mission would be a mission complete. Alrighty, so, sheesh, in the middle of winter, we got 15 to the gallon out of the truck. That was exceptionally well.